guys, today we have another very fun video planned for you guys today. Let's head over to the Target table and check it out. So, last time we did a Painting with Guns video, you guys seemed to really like it. So, we're going to do it again, but we're going to change it up a little bit. Because, as you can see here, we have the same kind of setup. We have four canvases standing up, but now we have two laying down as well. So, if, you, if any of you guys haven't seen the last Painting with Guns video, what we do is we put a bottle of paint right here in the middle, shoot it, and then splatter the paint on the canvases, which they turned out beautiful last time. So, yeah, all right. Let's get loaded up and get to shooting. So what we're gonna do is, oh, hi, I know, baby. So what we have set up over here is five cookies set up, one for each gun, and our dog, Jack, is going to pick the first gun, and Crispy is already on the hunt. <laughs> she got the last one. Oh, Crispy okay. picked the Canic. Canic is the first one, Jack. Release. Okay, so it's good. It's Canic. Ten. Uh, python. And then the Python. Okay. Crispy. Crispy, there's more cookies. Look. It ended up being Crispy picking the guns. <laughs> Jack, look. Okay, then my 410. Then the 1301. Cool. Biggest gun last. Cool. I think that'll actually work. Yeah, it will. It's literally going from smallest to biggest. <laughs> so. True, yeah. Yeah. But you made me go smallest to biggest. I was trying to go random. Sure. No, I'm not going this close because this is a brand new pair of shorts. <laughs> Literally just got it today. So I don't want to stain them too much. So I'm going to go for right here. All right. And we have a Federal HST loaded up. Just going to plop that in there. All right. Ready? Ready. Did I really shoot the canvas? No, you hit the bottle. I did? Yeah, just not much came out. I hit it right at the very bottom. Yep. Okay. Should I like fling it around or should we just shoot it again? Yeah, flick it around. Okay, we'll get one. another gun out. You need some. You need some. You need some. I was hoping for this to splatter more. Like, more splatter. We'll have to use the shotguns for the big splatters. That's what we learned last time. Yeah. The shotgun and the 10 millimeter did the best. Yeah. Which is actually the next gun. Uh, I'm turning that's into... That's looking awesome, though. Yeah. We should have just done this to start. Oh my gosh, look how close I was to getting a mechanic. Uh-oh. Can you hold that so I don't get yeah. any more on it? You know, I just want to leave these like this because they're so cool looking. They do look pretty cool. I'm not going to leave them like this, though. I'm going to turn into country. Y'all need more. That is literally the first time I've said y'all in like three weeks. <laughs> a few weeks. All right, guys, Friday next gun that my dogs chose, we have the Ruger 10mm 1911, and we are just loaded up with a 180 grain FMJ. Hold on. All right. Ready? Ready. Nice. That looks awesome. Yeah. That looks so cool. Yeah, I had blue on my forehead. Yeah, you did. <laughs> I just felt a splat on my forehead, and I'm like, yep, I got blue on my face. Oh, but it looks perfect. It looks so cool. I I like these. The yeah. bottom ones are really cool, but I do also like this one right here. Uh huh. That one is so cool. This one didn't get much on it, but even though, it still looks awesome. Yeah, it does. That is so cool. I need to get this blue off my forehead before it gets in my hair. Next up, we have Yellow Flame. This looks more like dandelion, but whatever. I'm not going to disagree with Apple Barrel because I love the paint. But, all right, let's blast this. All right, guys, next gun that we have is the beautiful Colt Python. It's still all fingerprinty from the last video. Assassin bug, assassin bug. Just assassinated my back, okay. <laughs> And we are loaded up with a 38 special shot shell. Let's just load this guy up. All right. This I think is gonna go really well because it's a shot shell. Yeah, it's gonna be cool. And this is this is a uh, number four shot instead of usually a number 12 or nine shot. Much bigger. Much bigger. It's at least a quarter inch. I mean, maybe a little bit smaller, but still. All right. I'm gonna go say glass. Okay. Ready? Ready. 
Oh, oh. I just barely nicked it. That I didn't do it. much. Hold on, let me go get another round. Okay. Sit straight. Oh my gosh. You got it with one, one or two BBs there. Yeah. It has popped the lid and the butt a little bit. I mean, like the body. Let me go grab another round. All right. Here is that cool aluminum. Hold on. It was smoking for a second there. Yeah. Can you, wait, do you just want me to, okay. Can we reload those? No, unfortunately not. Best things, okay. All right. Going single again, ready? Ready. Okay. I don't even know where I hit, but I'll that, that is so cool right there. Yeah. I barely hit the rest, but that is so cool. Right there. You want to do another yellow? I feel like we should because like the rest need yellow too. Yeah. I'll be right back. I gotta go grab another one. All right, for our next gun, guys, this is my Stoger Condor Youth with the beautiful Cerakote on it. And we're just loaded up with some, I don't know. I don't know what brand. I think it's Bird Federal. Birdshot. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, like Federal or something there. Birdshot. I'm going to back up a little bit for this. All right. <laughs> one, because I'm very accurate with it and I don't need to be too close. But two, it's going to go everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> So, I think right here will be good. Okay. All right, ready? Ready. <laughs> Got some yellow that time. That looks cool. <laughs> that is so cool because it's all on the bottom. This guy is barely getting hit. I don't know. He's got a lot, like, globbier on him. Yeah, he's got, like, globs more on of a him. mist over here. Yeah, this one right here is so cool. It's like flames of yellow. I mean, it is yellow flame, but still. Okay. That might be mine over there in All that right. corner. Oh, that's cool. Okay, green is next. Okay. All right, I, guys, I changed my mind. So we're going to do pink polish next. Now, I don't actually think I would use that color of nail polish, but still. All right, let's blast this. All right. Ready? Ready. Okay, that's awesome. Yep. Okay, this one's starting to get a little bit more of a mist here. And that is so cool. I, I just love all of these. They are so cool. Now, I have decided on one that I want to keep for myself. It's this corner one here. Okay. Now, I did want to just take it off and leave it, but the pink looks so cool. Like, it's just color blast over here, and then it's just little mists, little sprinkles over here. Okay, green. All right. Now it's green. <laughs> All right, guys, for our final gun, we have the LTT. We're at a 1301. Now, from the first day we got this gun, it reminds me of chocolate, and it still does. And I kind of want to eat it, but I'm not going to because it's metal. And we are just loaded up with a, fe yeah, Federal. Just some birdshot here. And green is next. Cool. This is looking so cool so far. And it I do want to just say, there is still paint on it from the last there time is, we did yeah. this. Splattered paint on there. Yeah, there's still brown and blue on it. Ready? Ready. <gasps> Pretty. This is looking so cool right now. That is awesome. This one's looking really cool. I did kind of cover up that one, but that is so cool. Look at that. Look at this. This is so pretty. I'm overreacting right now, I know, but it's just like paint, paint. My spirit animal is pretty. Now, it is the last color, purple. Left hand reload. Perfect. <laughs> All right, for our last color, we have light lavender. Why am I doing this with my mouth? I don't know, but this is probably going to top this off. Oh, yeah. They're going to be so cool. Now, I do want to mention these bottom ones here. They do have some shot in them from the shotguns, but also the pattern is amazing. Yeah. So, last color, light lavender. Let's blast it. Cool. <laughs> Surprisingly, I haven't gotten that dirty except for my shirt and a little speck on my Not shorts. Not too bad, yeah. And my hands. <laughs> yeah, my hands are covered too. Usually, I, whenever I'm painting with brushes, I get a lot more dirty than this. Yeah. So, I'm actually kind of surprised. Alright, ready? Ready. That's cool. Alright, let's look at this. Hold on, let me set this down. That purple is overpowering everything. 
You want to hit it with another color? Or you like how much purple? I is like there? how much purple is here, but it is a little bit overpowering. So I think we should either. Oh, we did we already use the other black? Nope. Okay. Do we think black would go really good over this? Yeah. Throw some black on top. Black okay. or blue? Black, because most of the black is covered up. Okay. So I'll be right back. Another left hand reload. All right, and I did forget to mention that the color of this is just jet black. Okay. So, yeah. I'm like, baby. Big baby. Okay. Ready? Ready. Oh. Cool. <laughs> I love this. This is so pretty. All right, guys. So these all look super cool. We are going to let them dry and then do some more decorating to them. Just to spice them up a little bit. And then we will show you what they look like at the very end. This is going to take a few hours to dry. Maybe to tomorrow they'll yeah. be dry because they're soaked in paint. But, yeah, they all look super cool. I do want to say this one, I'm sticking with this one unless they all change when they're dry. But, yeah, okay. We will see you when they're dry. All right, guys, it is a few days later, and these are the final results. They are all dried and clear-coated, and we have all the guns that we use to make these on the canvases. These will be sold as a set, so one of you will get a chance to get this whole set. And as you can see here in the bottom right corner, I signed every one. And we will leave a link for the eBay auction in the description down below, and one of you, the lucky person, will get all five of these. Now... You may see only five and we shot six. This one is the one that I'm keeping. And yeah, these ones, they're just so cool too. So again, please remember to check the description for the link to the eBay auction. It will really support us when one of you lucky people gets all of this. All right, well, we had a lot of fun making these beautiful canvases and I love playing with paint. And that's pretty much what I got to do when making these because paint is pretty, but I hope you guys had a lot of fun watching this video, just like we had a lot of fun making it. So, thanks for watching All Star Army. We'll see you next time.